Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Uh, Saturday, we're going to read Psalm 41. Blessed is the one who considers the poor. In the day of trouble, the Lord delivers him. The Lord protects him and keeps him alive. He is called blessed in the land. You do not give him up to the will of his enemies. The Lord sustains him in his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in malice, When will he die and his name perish? And when no one comes to see me, He utters empty words, while his heart gathers iniquity. When he goes out, he tells it abroad. All who hate me whisper together about me. They imagine the worst for me. They say a deadly thing is poured out on him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Even my close friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be gracious to me, and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you delight in me. My enemy will not shout in triumph over me, but you have upheld me because of my integrity, and set me in your presence forever." Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. So, Psalm 41. um, The first thing we need to say is that it has that ending verse that blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. That is, this is actually the end of book one of the Psalms. Now, most people don't realize that book of Psalms that. has Could five books in it. And and so this is the end of book one. And there's, as I say, there's five books. So the next Psalm starts book two. And that is, so that, that ending was put on there, sort of brings book one to a close. I don't know, maybe they, maybe they used a whole scroll for those 41 Psalms and that was the end of the scroll. I don't know. At any rate, um, Psalm 41 demonstrates something that um, back in the early 80s, the uh, Council of Bishops in the United States, and it has a, some, it has a name, it's a little different from that, but uh, the Catholic bishops in the United States announced or, or declared that they believe, based on Scripture, that God has a preferential option for the poor. God um, prefers the poor. God looks out for the poor. God, God's mercy is concerned with the poor. And God will take care of the poor. And so the people who take care of the poor will be people that God uh, appreciates and loves. And so... And so the church, the whole church, is called to um, look out for the poor. And, and we try to do that. Now, it's difficult to do that. Um, I'm just thinking of the people I've seen in the last few days. A lot of them are addicted to drugs. And it's very difficult when somebody is, is addicted to meth to, um, to give them help because all the money goes into meth and not into shelter and food and clothing and you know hygiene and all the things that that we think they need um they don't see it that way they just want more drugs uh, so that's difficult to it's difficult to figure out how to help people who who essentially don't want the help that we're willing to give and that's it's it's a little tough but um but we try and, and so here it says, you know, it starts off with that very first verse. If I can get it to come back up. Blessed be the one who considers the poor. And, and all through the psalm, it's talking about how God is looking out for him because he considers the poor. So whatever you do today, and I'm not saying go out and give all your money to some guy on the street, but consider the poor. How can you help the poor? 
I know Jesus said, you'll always have the poor with me. You won't always have me. He wasn't saying, ah, don't worry about the poor. You all, they'll, they'll always be here. He was saying, pay attention to me right now because I'm going to die tomorrow and you'll have the poor to take care of later. That's a different thing. But that's where we are. So how can you take care of the poor today? And, um, and have a great day. And we'll see you. Oh, wait. No, no, we won't see you. I'm going on to Canada to see my daughter, and the time difference is going to make it just impossible to, to get these things loaded up. I don't know what the Wi-Fi is going to be like, and I, it's very hard to record these in advance and then load them onto Facebook, so we're not going to do that. So I'm going to take a break until August the, let's say the 2nd, just to be sure. I think we're flying in early on the 1st. So... You have a week off and um, keep reading your Psalms and I will uh, see you in a week.